Welcome back to another Fusion 360 tutorial and in today's tutorial we are going to learn how to make this 3D printed ninja star within Fusion 360. So with that said, let's get started. So here we are within Fusion 360. The first thing we need to do is hover over to create, new component, and let's name this component to 3D printed ninja star. After that's done, press OK. From the top menu bar, create a sketch and select the bottom plane here. From here, what we need to do now is create a center rectangle from the origin. So hover over to create rectangle, center rectangle. And now from the origin, drag this out. And what we want to do is set the millimeters to 35 millimeters, pressing tab, 35 millimeters, and press enter. Next, we also want to create a line going from the very edge of this square to the very tip top here, all the way to this edge here. Now, the distance of the triangle that we're about to make doesn't really matter, but more so um, just extending it outward so we can get a good idea as to what it's going to look like. So from the edge, dragging this up, back down, and make sure if you were to take a look, this is a basically a simple triangle. And what we could do here is by pressing E on our keyboard, we can select these two created profiles and drag this up to about five millimeters. Now you should have something that looks like a house with a really tall roof. Um, from here, what we want to do is create a chamfer for these edges here, since this is going to be the pointy edge of our ninja star. So by pressing S on our keyboard, we can type in chamfer, select all these four edges on our design. From here, we can put this or drag this into about 1.5 millimeters and press OK. Now you have the general look of a ninja star or like the edge or the kind of like the sharp blade of it. And in order to recreate this to have it on all four sides, we're going to go ahead and use the circular pattern feature within Fusion by pressing S on our keyboard, type in circular pattern. And then we can go ahead and select the last two features within our timeline, changing the axis to the Z axis. And now you can see within Fusion, we have a total of three new or two new uh, parts that have been patterned. But mo realistically, most of these types of stars have four. So let's go ahead and adjust the quantity to four and then press OK. Now, as of right now, within our canvas, we have a total of four bodies. So if we're to hover over to our browser and select the bodies or check the bodies, you should see that we have uh, four bodies listed here. Now, what Fusion didn't account for is that you actually wanted to combine these bodies into one whole part. So let's go ahead and do that. In order to do that, let's go ahead and press S on our keyboard, type in combine. And the very first option here is labeled combine with this little blue uh, kind of outline of the, with this little blue outline with the feature here, selecting that. From here, we need to select a target body and tool bodies we are going to combine. Let's go ahead and select one side and then select the other three sides and press OK. Now, it doesn't really matter which side you select. More or less, you just want to select all four sides. From here, now that these pieces have been combined, you can see that we have these little edges here. Now, technically, we can actually go ahead and delete these edges. But instead, what we're going to do here is actually create a hole within our star. And by selecting the hole feature on the top left-hand side, selecting any point within the star on top of it. And let's go ahead and kind of reposition this hole all the way where the center of that little edge is. Now it doesn't have to be perfect, I'm just more or less kind of eyeballing it. And if you can see, this is the hole for our star here. And it's going to extrude all the way to the other side. Once that looks good, I'm going to press OK. And the next thing I'm going to do here is add a chamfer to this. So if we press S on our keyboard, type in chamfer, selecting the very top edge and the bottom edge. And we can set this to maybe 1.5 and press OK. Now you kind of have like the general star look. It's starting to look more like a star. So by pressing S on our keyboard, we can go ahead and use the circular pattern feature once more, selecting the last two features, pressing or selecting the axis to the Z axis, and it's just a quantity to four. After that's done, press OK. Now you have your general outline of a ninja star. Now we're pretty much almost done. The next thing we could do here is add a hole within the center. So doing the exact same thing, adding a hole, lining it up with our origin and you can adjust the whole size as to how, however far or long you want or wide you want. Um, from here I'm going to select 8 millimeters and this is the general ninja star. 
fairly simple, fairly easy to create, and doesn't really take you that much time. This could be done in much fewer steps, but more or less, I wanted you guys to get the general idea of how to make this. And if we were to finish this off, we can add a chamfer and maybe position this to 1.5 and press OK. Now let's send this off to our slicer. Let's see how it looks. And if we were to take a look here, this is our ninja star. Let's go ahead and slice this. And there you go. That's the general idea of how to make it. Of course, we can add some more detail to this if we wanted to. But more or less, I wanted you guys to get the general look or idea on how to make something like this. Additionally, if you do plan on printing this, I would suggest printing it with a much lower layer height. Uh, that way you can kind of capture the details of the chamfer here. And especially more or less since you are chamfering upwards from the bottom as well. So that's pretty much it for this Fusion 360 tutorial. So that pretty much wraps up today's video. Let me know your guys' thoughts and opinions down below in the comment section of this video. And as well as if you guys haven't already, feel free to join the 3D printing community down below in the description. We have tons of tutorials, guides, free STL files, and over 400 members all within this group. So I would personally love to have you in the group. So with that said, this is Brandon signing out and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.